Hey makers, it's Miss Michelle from the Creation Station. This week, we will be using UV Reactive or black light paint to create this mid-century geometric painting inspired by the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. In 1935, Francis F. Crocker, an electrical engineer, was traveling to Banning on a hot day and had the thought that the top of Mount San Jacinto would be a good place to go up there where it's nice and cool. Over the next 25 years, Crocker worked with city managers and state government to get plans and funds to build a tramway system from Palm Springs to a mountain station near the peak of Mount San Jacinto. After years of planning, new government bills, and the Korean War, official construction finally began in July of 1961. A total of 23,000 helicopter missions were performed to construct the mountain station and four out of the five tram support towers. The first tower was the only one accessible by an access road. Finally, 28 years since Crocker's Folly started as an idea, the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway opened to the public on September 12, 1963. Over the years, renovations have been made to the mountain station, and in 2000, rotating tram cars replaced the older cars, giving visitors a 360-degree view as they travel up and down the mountain. On average, a tram ride takes around 10 minutes one way, while the car travels a total of 2.5 miles. Since its opening, the Tramways Visitor Center has estimated that over 20 million guests have taken a trip on the tram. Before we get started on painting, let's gather our supplies. Today, I'm using an 11 inch by 14 inch canvas, but you can use any size that you like. You will also need one paper plate for your paint colors, a paper towel to clean off your brushes, and a cup or two of water to rinse out your brushes between each color. For our brushes, I will be using a half inch flat brush, a 1 8 inch flat brush, a small detail brush, and I will also be using an optional 3 quarter inch brush to fill in larger areas. We will be drawing our design first before we start to paint, so I recommend using a ruler to get straight edges and a pen or pencil to map out your design. The paints I'm using in the video are specially made UV reactive paint. This means that when exposed to a UV light, or black light as it is commonly called, the paint will glow. I purchased these paints on Amazon, but you can find them in local craft stores. The colors we are using today are yellow, orange, red, pink, blue, green, purple, white, and regular black acrylic. I will also be using black pen markers in different sizes, and a white chalk pen to help with outlining the different components of the scene. Now that we have all our supplies, let's get started. This painting has a lot of straight lines. So taking a ruler, you want to make a horizon line that is about three to four fingers from the bottom of the canvas. This is the line where our ground will meet the base of the mountains. Next, we're going to add North Palm Canyon Road that will take you to the base of the tramway. At about a 75 degree angle, draw a straight line going left to right down from the horizon line. Move right about two inches and draw another line with a 45 degree angle going left to right down from the horizon. By adjusting the angles, we will give the illusion of distance in the painting. Next, we'll add our mountain range. The mountains are a series of triangles that use the horizon line as their base. The rightmost triangle will be the shortest followed by the middle triangle, which should be the tallest. The final triangle on the left should have a height somewhere in the middle. After the mountains, we're going to draw in a tram tower by making a rectangle in between the leftmost mountain and the middle mountain. When done drawing the tower, take your ruler and draw a straight line that connects the top of the middle mountain to the tram tower, and then finally the horizon line. This is your tram cable. 
In the original painting, the ground was painted purple with three palm trees. For this painting, I want the ground to be green. So I'm going to draw three succulent plants along the road, which I will then paint purple. Go ahead and draw in your plants. Now I'm going to add some clouds in my sky. For now I'm drawing two, but later on I will add a third over the tram cable to fill in some empty space. You might start to notice that I'm putting in three of objects. Three mountains, three clouds, three plants. And this is because of the rule of odds that states that an odd number of subjects in an image is more interesting than an even number. If we were to draw an even number, it might not look balanced or symmetrical enough, but odds will make it look more interesting. The last object we'll add is our tram car. We're going to place it around the middle of the left mountain hanging from the cable. Now that the drawing part is done, we're going to paint each section with its designated color. Let's start by painting our sky. Using the quarter inch brush, dip into the neon blue paint and outline the areas in the sky that touch objects like clouds, mountains, and the horizon. Then color in the rest with a larger brush. You will notice that the paint is a little transparent, but we'll get back to that later on. Next, dip into the neon red and paint the leftmost mountain. Rinse and dry your brush, then dip into the neon pink paint and fill in your middle mountain. Rinse and dry, then dip into neon orange and paint your smallest mountain. Moving to the next section, rinse and dry your brush and dip into the neon green paint. Outline the area around the succulents and then fill in the rest of the ground area. Rinse and dry your brush and then dip into the black acrylic paint. Fill in North Palm Canyon Road. Next, dip into the purple paint with your small detail brush and paint in your succulents. By this time, your sky should be mostly dry, so go ahead and dip into the UV white and paint in your fluffy clouds and the tram tower. To paint the tram car, mix a little yellow with orange. Once the first coat of paint is dry, go ahead and apply a second coat in the same order. Wait for the painting to dry again and then apply a third coat. We're just making sure that the paint appears solid and is not transparent or streaky. Once my third coat dried, I decided to add a third cloud, just to kind of give a little bit more balance. Now, with everything dry, go ahead and take your ruler and go over the original lines you drew for the scene with a black paint pen. For the horizon line and for the road, I used a large black pen marker. Next, I used a medium black pen marker to trace the lines for my mountains, the tram tower, tram car, the clouds, and the cable line. You will see that I have the cable line going behind my new third cloud. Next, I took a white chalk pen to map out the lines on the road. These lines will get slightly larger the closer they get to the edge of the canvas. This is a technique to help with the illusion for distance. The chalk wasn't as solid as I had liked, so I added a top coat of UV white paint. For the last step, take a small black paint pen and outline your succulents. Uh, 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 uh. 
I added some spikes to my succulents to give it a little bit more character. When you finish, go ahead and take some time to touch up any areas that might need some work and then add your artist signature. Our painting is now complete. You can enjoy it as is, or to get the full effect, put it under a black light and let it glow. It's difficult to see in the video, but in person, the mountains, clouds, and succulents will pop out like 3D art. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Paint with Michelle. Please share your finished paintings on social media and don't forget to tag the creation station or use the hashtag paintwithmichelle. We'll see you next time.